Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to hit subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my latest investing and personal finance content. And please check out the link you see on your screen for a message from our sponsor, The Motley Fool, where you can get the 10 best stocks to buy right now. All right, so I bought seven stocks recently, and we're going to talk about them in just a second. And the reason I was able to buy seven stocks all at the same time it's not because I normally keep a ton of cash on hand. It's because I sold one of my big investments. It's a company called Store Capital, ticker symbol STOR, and it's been one of my largest investments for a few years, but something big changed recently. The company took, accepted an offer to go private at a price of $32.25 per share, and the so-called ghost shop period, which means the time when they can actively solicit higher bids, uh, has expired. So I've decided to move on from that. And I use the proceeds to roll into seven different stocks. So what I bought, the first thing, and this is where about 50% of the sale proceeds went, is a company called Realty Income, ticker symbol O. This is a real estate investment trust that just like store capital, focuses on single tenant properties, mostly occupied by retail and service businesses. It's a very similar business and it is a great dividend track record. It's also a stock that I've owned for a long time. So it seemed like a really natural place to roll some of the proceeds into. However, with some of it, I did buy six other stocks with the other half of the money. So number one is Ally Financial, ticker symbol A-L-L-Y. If you're not familiar, Ally is an online-based bank, and they focus on auto loans. They used to be the finance arm of General Motors, so that's where that came from, and high-yield savings products. They have a high-yield savings account that's been had a lot of success attracting deposits which they can then loan out to auto customers at higher interest rates. The stock trades at a very low valuation, despite being a very profitable company. I'm just going to give you kind of the cliff notes of all of these because of time purposes. But Ally is a very cheap bank stock with a lot to like about it. I've written about it several times recently. Uh, and I'll put a link to an article in the description here. Number two, Howard Hughes Corporation, ticker symbol HHC, one of the most unique real estate stocks I know. It's been an investment in my portfolio for several years. It is designed to create significant wealth over the long term. It's essentially a real life version of the video game SimCity, if you've ever played that. Howard Hughes buys these big tracts of land and essentially develops entire cities from scratch. Um, some of their communities are very mature right now. Uh, Summerlin in the Las Vegas area is a Howard Hughes community. A lot of people just kind of think of it as its own city, but it was a master plan community by Howard Hughes. The Woodlands in Texas is one of them, um, and they recently bought a 37,000-acre uh, plot of land in Arizona to do the same thing in the Phoenix area. So very, very unique company and one that I love the management and love the strategy, and I'm happy to add to it. <laughs> Number three is Mercado Libre, ticker symbol M-E-L-I, often called the Amazon of Latin America, but they also have a payment processing platform. They have shipping services because... Shipping fulfillment isn't quite where it is in the U.S. in Latin America and a few other sides to their business. Essentially, they're going to try to create an all-in-one ecosystem for consumers and merchants in their target markets, which include places like Argentina, where they're based, Brazil, Mexico, and several other Latin American countries. So this is rapidly becoming a large investment for me. Number four, one of my smaller but you know favorite companies to follow is DreamFinders Homes. Home builders have been beaten down recently, and for good reason. Uh, the real estate market has slowed down considerably. Mortgage rates are high. Uh, home prices are high, so it's priced a lot of buyers out of the market. A lot of people are in wait-and-see mode. Home builders, including DreamFinders, have seen cancellations of contracts really spike upward recently. But DreamFinders uses a unique model where they don't buy a lot of land until they're ready to build houses. So it conserves capital. It makes it less dependent on, you know, laying out billions of dollars to acquire land. So that should help it weather the storm well. And it makes for a profitable business model in good times. They operate in some of the most desirable Sunbelt markets like Jacksonville, Orlando, both Carolinas, uh, Texas. So they have a lot to gain. They're kind of an up and comer in the home building space, but one that is definitely worth watching. Number five, Pinterest, a social media company. A lot of social media stocks like Snap and Meta, which is Facebook, have not done well lately. The recent earnings show that their advertising businesses are suffering and engagement is kind of not where they want it to be. 
Pinterest is kind of bucking the trend and doing it the opposite way. They are outperforming most other ad-based businesses. In the most recent quarter, their revenue was higher by 8% year over year. They're actually gaining active users again. And the company is in the early stages of figuring out where e-commerce fits into its business. And if it can figure it out and be successful in incorporating e-commerce into its business, this could be an absolute home run. It's very, very small uh, market cap wise related to a, uh, compared to a lot of its larger peers. And it's a company that is, like I said, it's just starting to scratch the surface of its true potential. <clears throat> Six, last but certainly not least, I added to my Amazon position, which is actually a kind of small position in my portfolio that I've been opportunistically building out as on weakness in the stock. It's just a powerhouse company, but this is one that I consider more of a backbone position to a portfolio than something that's going to be a multi-bagger over the next several years. But it's rare to have a company that's you know, it has a dominant presence in two growing and unrelated business lines like e-commerce and cloud services. Amazon is well known for its e-commerce marketplace, but it's Amazon Web Service. AWS is a leader in cloud services, and that market's supposed to multiply in size several times over over the next decade or so. E-commerce still makes up just about 15% of U.S. retail, so a lot of room to grow there as well. And over time, I can see the the markets really rise big and Amazon, even if it can just maintain its share, this could be a long-term winner. So one that I'm excited to see grow in the years to come. So those are the six or the seven stocks that I've bought recently, Realty Income plus those other six. And I'd love to know what you think about them. Please leave me any questions or comments in the, under this video. I will do my best to respond to each and every single one of them. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to sponsor, partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by more than three times. So go to fool.com slash Frankel to get your 10 stock picks now. The Motley Fool Stock Advisor returns are 354% as of 9-12-2022 and are measured against the S&P 500 returns of 112% as of 9-21-2022.